Hello everyone, how are you? I am Barihun from Summit YouTube channel. Now today I will present you the introduction part of or the first chapter introduction to computer programming or introduction to programming concepts. Uh, now what is programming? Before to define the concept of programming, it is better to define what is computer. So a computer is an electronic device that accepts data. Uh, sorry, that accepts data. Performance computation. Performance computation accept data. Performance computation and makes logical decisions according to instructions that have been given to it. Then produce meaningful information in a form that is useful to the user. So, computer is anything with or any electronic device that accepts data, performs mathematical operations or computations as the name indicated computer, as comes from the word compute and uh, the word makes uh, logical decisions according to the instructions that have been given by user, user and it. Uh, Returns meaningful information to the user. This is the basic definition of computer. And then there is an input here, as you see, and then many or any mathematical operation is uh, takes place or computed here in the process phase, and then passed to the last output part or stage. This is the steps of. Uh, Mm, what a computer uh, is doing or uh, do so this is what a computer means next what is a program computer programs software programs or just program by itself are the instructions that tell the computer what to do computer programs or software programs or program by itself are the instructions that the, that tell us the computer what to do this is what the computer program or software program or the program the definition define then computer programming or programming or coding is a process please understand what is the first idea and the second idea this is what computer programs means software programs or programs this is the agent the agent or the process or the event computer programming or programming by itself not program programming by itself or coding the process of writing or testing you see this debugging or troubleshooting and maintaining the source code already written source code of the computer program is called computer programming or programming or coding this is the basic definition of these two uh, concepts then as introduction computer program consists of two parts or two elements the first one is coding action and the second one is the data element the coding is the action of the instruction Data is the characteristics of the given data or information to the uh, code. Computer program is also known as source code. Source code. Computer program is source code. Is often written by professionals known as computer programmers. These are experts or nerds of the computer. Source code is written in the one of the following languages. One of the following languages. Programming language, uh, maybe C, C, C sharp, Java, Python, and the like. Or in other uh, sense, programming languages may be high level language, machine language, or low level language, assembly language, and there is the main types of language. But this is a programming language, not a, a computer language. It is a programming language. 
okay programming language is an artificial language that can be used to control the behavior of a machine particularly a computer this is what programming language is programming language like natural language like english america from romo or Fafino or Wolatinia uh, uh, or any uh, human language, it is a language for computers, are defined by semantics and uh, syntax and semantics. Syntax is a formula or structure of the language, semantics is the meaning uh, or uh, yeah, the meaning ordered by the semantics of the language. Rules which describe their structure and meaning. Semantics and syntax, respectively. The syntax of a language describes the possible combinations. The possible combinations. You see this? You see this? The possible combination of the symbols of that language from a syntactical correct program syntactically correct program the meaning of the meaning given to a combination of symbols is held by semantics there are two uh, ideas here you should understand what is semantics and what is syntax syntax is a formula a language structure for example in English, I uh, add, I add uh, a bread, a bread, if somebody sizes, what is I, what is it, and what is this bread. These three uh, language structure arrangement subject verb agreement for human language is similar for computers uh, and sorry and a is equal to 25. What does it mean in computer language? For in C++ this means Declare a variable a which is found under the memorial equation z and having a value of 25 integer value. This is for computer language and this is for human language. So, what semantics and the syntax is? Uh, the syntax is you should first declare the data type. I will show you the, the next chapter uh, the data type and the variable name or the variable symbol and the, the value of the variable in English you should uh, indicate the noun the pronoun the subject the verb yes so this is what about syntax and semantics then the next one is a main purpose of programming language is to provide instructions to a computer to provide to feed to instruct instructions for the computer is what the main purpose of programming language available programming language come in a variety of forms and types the programming language can be divided into two major categories programming language the first one is low level language low level language and the second one is high level language which language is high level which language is low level we will see this is the category uh, machine language low level the first one is low level language and what uh, what does mean low level language means the first one is machine language under low level language it is the lowest level programming language in which all instructions and data are written in a binary machine code that means operating system and uh, zeros and ones the 
instruction is ordered by zero and ones. As we know, computer understood the only two uh, symbols, zeros and ones, or binary numbers only. Computers only understand one language, and that is called binary language, or the language of the one and zero. This is what we call machine language. For example, zero zero one zero one zero zero one zero one. Or it may be off, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, 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 off. Because it is electronic device, the on and off of main electronic circuit board is what on motherboard switch is called the instruction flow or data flow. Sorry, and this is also another instruction. In the initial years of computer programming, all the instructions were given in binary form. Also, the computer easily understood these programs. It provides too difficult for a normal human being to remember or to understand all the instructions in the forms of zeros and ones. This is the problem only for computers because binary language or binary number zero and one is understood by computers only. Humans didn't understand what the instruction is did about. Therefore, computers remained remained mostly to common person until other language such as assembly language was developed. What is assembly language differ from machine language? which were easier to learn and understood. Okay, what is understood uh, assembly language? The first low level language, low level programming language is assembly language. Correspondence symbolic instructions and executable machine codes and was created to use letters called mnemonics. To each machine language instructions to make it easier to remember or write. For example, add a b. Add a b. This is an assembly language. Add two numbers in the memory location of a and b. The memory location of a and b value is added. However, no matter how close assembly language is to machine code, computers still cannot understand it. It is understood by humans, but did not understood by computers. So what we have to do next is the assembly language must be translated to machine code by a separate programming called assembler. Assembler. The machine instruction created by the assembler from the original program source code zero uh, sorry add a b a comma b uh, is called object code or the first real raw uh, code or source of code this assembly language are uniquely specific computer machine assembling language program this one this one then the next translation program assembler the assembler this one the definition then the output is the machine language program zero and one because computers understood only zero and one this is about what assembly language means nice then what about high level languages use naturally understandable languages like human ideas Integrated development environments are used for a rapid development like C++, .NET framework environments. The pre-mated a programmer to ignore many low-level details of the computer hardware. Low-level details meaning machine understandable details or information of the computer hardware. Closer the syntax rule and it is mnemonics to natural language like humans for Amharic language example. 
Amharic. Just like Amharic language, it have its a sound syntax rule and minutes. High level languages are more English like and therefore make it easier for programmers to think in the programming language. This is the uh, easiest way to communicate with machines with humans. High level languages also require translations to machine language before execution. There, there is a need of uh, translation from machine language before execution. From high level language, human like language like English or Amharic, there needs a translation to machine language before execution of the instruction of the source code. This translation is accomplished by either a compiler or interpreter. So the first one is the compiler. Compiler translates the entire source code program before execution, but the interpreters translate source code programs one line at a time. This is the difference. The whole source code is translated first in case of compiler, but in case of interpreter, only one line of line at a time is interpreted and translated. Uh, interpreters are more interactive than compilers because it translates line by line. This is the effect or the difference. Example Fortran formula translator basic binger, binger's all purpose symbolic instructions codes Pascal C, C plus Java are examples of high level uh, programming language. I think it is. Uh, clear good then the next one is programming paradigms what is programming paradigm the first one is the procedural paradigm and the second one is object oriented paradigm uh, it is a big concept uh, we will see in another course also again but as a hint or introduction just what is procedural programming language uh, is a list of instructions telling a computer step by step what to do usually having linear order of execution from the first statement to the second statement up to false procedural programming specifies a list of operations that the program must complete to reach the desired state or goal each program has a starting state, a list of operations to compile, and an ending point or destination. This approach is also known as imperative programming approach. Procedures also known as functions, uh, subroutines, sub, sub or methods are small sections of the code that perform a particular function a procedure is effectively a list of computations to be carried out by splitting the programming uh, programmatic tasks into small pieces procedural programming allows a section of code to be reused to be read uh, to be reused in the program without making multiple copies I understand this uh, point by splitting the program into separate or small piece of instructions or procedures uh, by procedural programming allows a section or part of code to be reused in the program without making multiple copies. Example for running basic it is all version of uh, programming coding technology by the way. And the second one is object-oriented paradigm programming language. Object-oriented programming is one one of the newest and most powerful paradigm or current uh, leading uh, programming language paradigm. Many applications is developed via this technology. Object-oriented programming is a programming paradigm based on the concepts of objects, which are data structures that contains data in the forms of fields known as attributes 
and code in the forms of procedures known as methods. This is the difference. Fields in the form of attribute, procedures in the uh, form of methods is implemented in the concepts of object-oriented programming language paradigm. This pairing of a piece of data with the oper operations that can be performed on it is known as an object. Object have its own attribute, its own property. This property, this attribute is known as field. The object have its own attribute having different uh, properties and this properties is computed via a procedure called method. This is what we have uh, side of the uh, uh, object. A program thus becomes a collection of co cooperating objects rather than list of instructions. It is a cooperating object, not uh, rather than a list of instructions. Objects can store state information and interact with other objects, but generally each object has its distinct limited role. Problem solving technique. Okay. Okay, problem solving technique. Uh, what about it uh, means? Counter solves varieties of problems that can be expressed in a finite number of steps, leading to a precisely defined goals by writing different programs. A program is not needed only to solve a problem, but also it should be reliable, maintainable, and portable and efficient. This is what we call it problem solving technique. It should be maintainable, it should be portable and efficient, it should be reliable. For example, you develop a simple calculator mobile application for your uh, smartphones. Your application should be reliable and your application should be maintainable if some error may happen and your application should be portable and efficient. So what we have called this is problem solving technique. In computer programming factors are given for more ways. Uh, the first part focuses on defining the problem and logical procedures to follow in solving it. The second introduces the mini means by which programmers communicate these procedures to the computer system so that it can be executed. That is the second, uh, the second procedures to the computer system, or the second, pro uh, the second means by which programmers communicate to factors or counter programming or counter program. Sorry. Then the next one is uh, there are system analysis and design tools, particularly flow chart and structure chart. Flow chart and structure chart. What is flow chart? What is structure? I will show you in the coming videos or uh, uh, chapters that can be used to define the problem in terms of the steps to its solution. The programmer uses programming language. Yeah, you know, to communicate the logic of the solution of the computer. The, there is a problem first. There is detail of designs of the problem, how to solve, how to fix, what's the output. Then you should write a, an algorithm to fix this problem. So, before a program is re written, the program must clearly understand and plot the prototype of the design, what data are to be used, the input, the desired result, the output, and the procedure to be used to produce the result, the methods. Yes, in order to generate the output, you should be uh, have first an input data, then process the, this data using different or variety of methods to desired uh, to get the desired output or uh, result. This procedure or solution selected is referred to as an algorithm. These steps or procedures or solutions 
for a selected problem is said to be an algorithm. An algorithm is defined as a step-by-step -step sequence of instructions that must terminate and describe how the data is to be processed to produce the desired output. There is a data and there is a step-by-step -step operations or instructions and you got an output and you got an output the methods should be ask again the data maybe n times and after n times operation step by step operation you got output output so this procedure this types of, uh, of this information this concept is what we have tried to be an algorithm or what is algorithm algorithm is simply a sequence of instructions algorithm is simply a sequence of instructions as i uh, we just uh, said in the previous uh, slide algorithms are fundamental part of computing computing means uh, coding we can say coding or computation or uh, funda algorithms are fundamental parts of computing means fundamental part of uh, problem solving technique competition this can uh, uh, define what is algorithm mean competing competition calculation just the same meaning calculate main steps and got one clear output for example you uh, may have uh, 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 asked to calculate the value of x from uh, 3 or 5 um, simultaneous equations after many operations or steps of calculation you get what the value of x is so this type of understanding for algorithm is called uh, fundamental part of computing and sequence of instructions to achieve or to solve a problem is called algorithm unambiguously unambiguousness that means it must not be ambiguous it should be clear every step in algorithm must be clear as to what is supposed to do and how many times is expected to be executed for example uh, loop uh, looping statement is for a control statement uh, wait uh, we will uh, see in the coming chapters control statement how many times the operation is executed and what's the output what's the input what the methods or functions this is uh, this explains what an ambiguity ambiguousness means not ambiguous algorithm should be not ambiguous or algorithm should be an ambiguousness generality that means it should be or it should have to be general not to be specific the algorithm should be work for all problems of the same type for example if you, if the algorithm uh, the algorithm is designed to calculate uh, not for uh, calculate the sum of uh, natural numbers from x value to some value from 5 to 50 it should be work for as uh, ranges the same ranges of natural numbers from 25 up to 105 for example so the algorithm should be general correctness it must be correct and must solve the problem for each it is designed for each it is designed the algorithm should correctness meaning uh, it must be correct or must solve the uh, required or the given problem this is what you have uh, said correctness then the next one is fitnessness it must execute it is a step in determinates in finite time uh, an algorithm uh, as a whole in computing resources uh, memory usage or state space and execution time is very very expensive resource so the algorithm should be terminated within a finite time within a fixed time within a short period of time within a, 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 a,
defined period of time so the steps it should be clear or known and the termination point or uh, or time it should be uh, limited or fixed so what what is it uh, fin uh, finiteness is algorithms are usually represented in pseudo code or by a flow chart in order to or to show the steps how it solves a given problem to show the problem's completeness or uh, step by step instructions for the problem techniques for non technical users you should first draw pseudo code or flow chart uh, so this is uh, the properties of uh, algorithm or the algorithm should satisfy the following requirements the following requirements an ambiguousness generality correctness and fitness should be satisfied these requirements good what the next one is is english like language for representing the solution to a problem pseudocode is independent of any programming language pseudocode or a flow chart is the first step in process of planning the solution for a given problem called developing an algorithm to develop an algorithm first you should uh, draw a flow chart or uh, a pseudocode so pseudocode is a compact and informal high level description of uh, a computer algorithm that uses a structure structure conventions of algorithm or programming language but typically omits details such as uh, subroutines variables declarations and systems as syntax this may be missed but it follows the general structures of the language the purpose of using pseudocode is that may be easier for humans to read than conventional programming languages is to uh, show the details of the steps for the uh, programmers or uh, uh, experts or humans uh, during developing the algorithm no standard for pseudocode syntax exists as a program in pseudocode is not an executable program it is good idea so the code is not a executable program it is just to show the step is how it for it, it it flows so the code is not the sound standard okay good uh see the code on the same as the name suggests see the code generally does not actually obey the syntax rule of the particular uh, programming language there is no synthetic standard algorithm also any particular writer will generally borrow the appearance of a particular language so it did not follow any language standard the programming process is a complicated one you must first understand what the problem is what the program specification of the codes then you need to organize your thoughts and create the algorithm first you should be understand what is the problem and it's a specification this is a difficult task when the algorithm is not trivial that means easy you must break the main task that must be accomplished into smaller ones in order to be or able to eventually write full developer codes so writing pseudo code will save you time later during the construction and testing phase of your program of developed uh, source code so pseudo code is important for example uh, original program original program specification write a program that ob obtains two number two integer numbers from the user it will print out some of the numbers the user wants to give two numbers from the keyboard and the system of the algorithm calculates the sum of these two integer values or numbers so the pseudo code looks like this prompt the user to the inter, uh, to enter the first integer for example a plus b is equal to c the algorithm uh, should uh, follow these steps so the first uh, pseudo code is 
the user enters the first number, enter A, the second user enters the second integer, enter B, then the sum of the two user, impu uh, user inputs compute the sum. This one uh, display an output prompt. This means this op operand. Uh, display an output prompt that extends the answer as the sum. The sum is this one. Display the result. If don't if student grade is greater than or equal to 60, print past. For example, if this is the mid exam and this is the final exam, the uh, sum of this result or the C value is less than 60, print past else print failed. This is what you call C documents. And the next one flow chart. It is a graphical way of representing the solution of the problem. The advantage of flowchart is does not depend on any particular program like that of the zero code, so that is can be used to translate an algorithm to more than one programming language. Flowchart uses different symbols, geometrical shapes to represent different processes. Look at like this. The start or uh, stop symbol is or sharp is looks like this one, the elliptic uh, sharp and the input output operation for example enter a number uh, output is represented by this one input output operation then the process for example addition subtraction multiplication operation or uh, arithmetic operations in the processing operation is represented by this and then the decision for example if this is this do this if this is not do this or don't do this. This type of decision making operation is represented by this. Connect, it is a connected circuit, and procedure call. Call another procedure function. See other flow chart. For example, it may be have another line of operation. For example, uh, number over zero uh, operation may be in some part or tree. So you should. Uh, procedure call or uh, what is the result of that and arrow shows the direction logic flow so what is is about the shapes of this uh, flow chart diagrams draw a flow chart of an algorithm to add two numbers and display the first result um, a and b uh, add a and b assign the sum to c and display this as i showed you Start read A, A, B, read meaning enter or accept the two numbers, and this is the operation process. C is equal to plus B, and this is the print C and this is the it. Example write is to code uh, draw flow chart to check a number is negative or positive, uh, less than zero or uh, greater than zero, or condition should be satisfied or checked here. Start read X. So you should be uh, understand what this symbol is start or seven at a stop and this is the input uh, for example read x and check whether it is x uh, is positive or negative decision is a dm and the sharp yes and no and the output is it will be the sharp and this is a stop and the next one is the example three write the algorithm description or zero code and uh, draw a flow chart flow chart and zero code both so you should be first understand what the problem is then you should start write the pseudo code then you can uh, easily draw your uh, flow chart diagram for example uh, to add from 1 up to 50 the uh, natural number 1 to 74 up to 50 start and change sum to 0 and counter to 1 sum should be first of all should be assigned at zero and the counter starts from one if the counter is less than or equal to 50 you should be at all repetitive uh, values of that uh, value of i or any variable else exit loop if the, uh, the counter is equal to 50 or greater greater than 50 stop write sum stop this is what the flow chart looks like start sum is equal to zero counter one counter is then equal to 50 add sum plus one sum plus counter counter plus counter plus one again and again as if this operation is um, 
counter is equal to 50 meaning 51 if this, if 51 then the counter is passed to this registration uh, node uh, because this is not less than this so write the sum the output sum and stop the execution exercise again write an algorithm description and draw a flowchart to check a number is even or odd divided by uh, modulus operator um, a module uh, 2 or any number module 2 is equal to, is equal to 0 it is even or uh, not equal to 0 it is not even or uh, odd so based on this this is uh, the flowchart focus leg mm, thank you for the presentation this is all about the introduction part of the first uh, chapter what is counter programming please like share subscribe the channel thank you we'll see the next uh, chapter by the second uh, video